Okay, we are now joined by our winner of tonight's race, Raja Kruth. Raja, uh, history-making performance tonight uh, in the 20th anniversary of the Drive for Diversity program. Drive for Diversity graduate wins a race, becoming only the third African-American driver uh, to win a NASCAR National Series race, joining Hall of Famer Wendell Scott and, of course, Bubba Wallace. What's it like to hear that uh, and make history like you did tonight? Yeah, man, it's... Uh I'm just pretty speechless. You know, it's um, been a tough journey so far, and a lot of people have, you know, helped me get to this point. And thank you to every single one of one of y'all. And um, definitely ups and downs, uh, but this journey has been fruitful at times and, and testing at times. But I'm just super grateful for uh, Mr. H because um, he's the only reason why I got in this thing full time. You know, in this this winter, it was a lot of uncertainty um, about where I'd be driving. You know, not having you know a bunch of funding behind me at the time, and um, I just stayed true to my faith and, and my family. And fortunately, a lot of people just put a lot of stuff together for me to be in this spot. So I'm glad I made the most of it tonight and and be locked into the playoffs. Thank you, Roger. If you have a question for Roger, raise your hand. We'll get a mic to you. We'll start with uh, Jeff, then go to Bob and Chris. What were those final laps like for you? What was going through your head at the time? Um, honestly, Jeff, I was just like thinking what I needed to do if like a caution came out, you know, um, just trying to make it live to the end just of, with how my balance of my truck was all night. Um, but just being prepared for anything, right? It's easy to get really excited and stuff and get, miss your marks and, and just get caught up in the moment. I just try to execute and unfortunately no yellow came out and it worked out for us. Bob. Bob Hawkers, Fox Sports I had two. The first, uh, as a kid in DC, playing or doing this on iRacing, how feasible did you think this moment was? Man, it was a lot of days, especially in high school, that I did not think I could get here, Bob. Like, I can't tell you how many times, you know, I was at internship in my junior year working at, um, you know, the GW's, uh, it's like their basketball court or whatever, um, in the box office and just working on my website when I was just iRacing. And a lot of those days, I didn't think this would be, you know, at all possible. So. I just got to thank my dad and my mom, uh, my sister, uh, just because they've, uh, you know, sacrificed a lot to move me to North Carolina um, to be a product of the NASCAR Drive for Diversity program. That's really cool. That's 20 years. I didn't know that. That's really cool. So shout out them, you know, Max Siegel and, and NASCAR for believing in me from jump, um, just because I think a lot, not a lot of people did, uh, but hopefully they, they start now. And this might sound like a weird question, but do you know what happened to your name on the back of the truck? Because like the R, have you seen it? I've I've not seen it. It looks like it says Kaputh. It doesn't say Karuth. So well, you have no idea. Well, that thing was was so good, then it just blew the decals off. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chris, then Jim, and then over here. Chris, my catchwins.com. Congrats, um, Raja. Without. Hendrick Motors or Rick Hendrick and Hendrick, uh, Hendrick Car Cars com, would you race the full schedule or were you just had the sponsorship for those 10 races? It would have been tough. You know, like I said, not having a family that owns a team or, or having, you know, not being born into this, right? So I just, I got really lucky and fortunate um, that we started that relationship last year and that they believe in me enough to, to have me represent them, not just, you know, here at the racetrack, but at the things that I do, you know, away from, from the track. So I'm just super thankful, Chris, and um, excited for more. Jim. Jim Otter, motorsport.com. Congratulations. Um, obviously, the win is huge, but you have had, like, a really spectacular start the first three weeks of this season. Just in general, what, how, how do you take in the start of this year? Man, I don't know. I'm glad it's off week next week. Uh, get to spend some time with uh, s some people, some really good people in my life. But um, and I don't know. It's um, it's just a testament to my team. You know, everybody at Spire has been pulling in one direction, and and 
they've done a great job for giving us four fast trucks, but also, um, you know, getting the cup stuff where, where it needs to be and closer to where it needs to be. So everybody's been working hard. Like I said in my TV interview, the decal shop's been really busting their tails, uh, you know, with same with our marketing department, our PR folks, and obviously, you know, our parts room guys and everybody at the shop. So um, I just, I'm really grateful to, for today and just trying to take in the moment. And, and like I said, hopefully people stop writing me off then. Go here in the middle. Hey, Roger. Hey, Roger. You know me, Rebel Report. Roger, you said you weren't born into this, so what would you tell other kids that maybe come from the similar backgrounds of you that weren't born into the racing industry that one day would like to be in your shoes? Well, I think for me, I guess it's not easy, right? And if you think it's going to just wake up and be on your in front of you, it's not, but you just gotta put in the work, right? And, and listen and emphasis on listen, because, you know, I think about my first years, you know, racing on, on iRacing and learning how to be fast on there and then making a lot of mistakes. And honestly, it was kind of the same when I started in real life. And I just listened to people that wanted to help me. And I put in the work, the, the late nights, the early mornings, uh, showing up and, um, I, I caught some breaks for sure, but, I'd say to those kids, because I know it's a lot that are out there that were in similar spots as me, that y'all can do it. It is, you just got to put in the work and pay attention and, and just do the right thing, and uh, it'll work out. Go to Dustin, and then we'll go over here. Dustin, I'll be no Jason. Congrats, Raja. Um, getting a win so early in the season, how does it change your mindset for the rest of the regular season? Um, it doesn't really. Um, I just feel relieved right to, to be you know locked in a playoff spot um besides that man i mean it doesn't change anything right we, we prepare just as hard and do all the little things right the best way we can each race and um adjust accordingly so it, it doesn't really change my outlook for the rest of the season i definitely feel relieved because i literally haven't won anything since i was racing late models so uh, i've been really close and the arca stuff i raced over the, the last couple of years and obviously a couple of times last year so to Finally get a win. Um, it's been a long time, but it feels, feels special. He's obviously one of your biggest mentors. Have you been able to uh, chat with him yet? Uh, nah, but I mean, we will at some point. It's no biggie. Go over here. Tom Zaleski, Iron County today. Congratulations, Roger. As the penalty, as all the chaos was unfolding in the, uh, just before you took the lead again, what are you thinking as you're seeing all, all as you're hearing all the penalties in your, uh, from the other drivers on, your, on the radio when they were all falling back? Did you have an up? Was that your opportunity? That's your moment to try and get to the front? To, yeah. What, what was the thinking? So was it was those speeding penalties? Yes. What was the the 98 speed? 98 speed. So, man. So I. I waved off a of two and I saw he wave. I was like, okay, so he's judging how far he was away from me. Like, I could try to sneak up to him to get to the line. And we're going three and three and four, and I'm at my hot point. I'm like, he's still going. So I'm like, oh, okay, I need to just back it down. And I had to give back a lot in my first section or two just to make sure I didn't speed. And um, I just, honestly, I was just like, no way. Like, I, I didn't expect that to happen. Um, but I'm just, Grateful that the work kind of paid off there. I've I've really put in the effort to be be good at the the pit road stuff for from learning in my Xfinity races to practicing it on iRacing. racing. Um, I'm just glad it all worked out for sure. Go here in the middle and then. Hi, Roger. Crystal Clay from RacingRefresh.com. Um, can you just speak a little bit more to what it's like to have the support of your family, especially here, while you get your first win, and it's such a huge win? Yeah, I, you know, I'm really glad that the, both my parents are here, especially, you know, my dad. Um, I know my sister's watching, too, because um, they've been, you know, my rock since, you know, my dad took me to my first race. Really, both my parents did with my late granddad and um, got me that first experience. And really enabled me to, to put in the work and chase the dreams, like I said, of, you know, living by myself in North Carolina. Like I can't imagine for, for a mom and for a dad to send their 18 year old kid to a completely different culture, a completely different lifestyle to live on, on his own, work at a race shop and be in a completely different environment. But they just, I'm, I'm glad they're here. Um, and they've, they've been, you know, with me every step of the way. And that's honestly a blessing I've really had is, is having my parents, my sister, a lot of, you know, really good close friends and, and others that have helped elevate me and 
help me during the tough times and help me celebrate for the good ones. Go here. Brian Twining, Bedsworth Media Group. First of all, congratulations. Uh, I just want to let you know, within the betting community, you've had a lot of supporters these first couple of weeks. Yeah, so it's funny you say that, because like, so many people will be like, hey, bro, I bet on you tonight, so you better give me some money. I'm like, okay, hopefully you didn't put a house on me, but well, we'll see. <laughs> let me just tell you, there are lots of people celebrating tonight, so I just wanted to ask you, do you have any special plans to celebrate this monumental victory? Uh, well, I had a bet with my uh, my tire specialist, Peter, that I was shotgun a beer in Victory Lane, but nobody got me a beer, which I'm not complaining. I, I don't really drink anyway, but I don't know. Um, hang out with my peeps tomorrow. I'm going home, bro. I'm flying back. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a homebody. I stay inside. So, But uh, I definitely just, I know I may seem docile, but I'm just trying to take in everything just because, like I said, when I, the last time I won, you know, I won like, you know, two or three races in a row and I thought it was going to be easy. And then I was struggling for a lot of times and had it close and slipped through my fingers a couple of times. So I'm just trying to take it in. Go back up here, Jeff, and then in the back, and then Bob. I want to follow up on that because um, it, you joked uh, during qualifying, they, they said like, oh, it looks like you maybe you have some dust in your eye or something after you got the pole. Uh, that like, was that was totally the truth. Oh, it that was, was the that, truth. Okay. Yeah, that was the truth. I was not lying. Okay, because I was like, wait, how come you got emotional for the poll or something, but not, you know? Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Okay. Like, <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of weird. I think like this whole race, you know. But I don't know. Yeah, I, I just it was dust. I was not. I was not lying. Go to Bob, and then we'll go in the back. Bob Parker's Fox Sports. I have a couple more. Do you still go to Winston-Salem State? Yeah, so I'm a senior. Um, hopefully I don't have any homework due tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to graduate in the fall, so it'll be nice to walk across the stage. Uh, it'll be after the season ends, so it's great. You know, I can go and uh, see some of my classmates, my professors. Um, but I'm almost done. I, I got some credits left I got to take care of. Will this make it any easier to get some delay or some I hope so. I hope so. I'll probably ask. I'll just send a picture like, yo, I'm a little busy, so maybe I can get some extensions. No, nah, but um, it's been really cool with uh, having the support of Winston-Salem State. You know, they've, they've been behind me since um, really I started driving um, when I was in late models as a freshman there and, um, you know, supporting me in the Xfinity races and the ARCA car and, um, and other things I've done off the track. So it's been great to represent them. And just finally, what you do tonight that you haven't done in a few years since you last won? I don't know, actually. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to take it in um, just because, I mean, it's my first, right? But you never know when it'll happen again. So, I mean, what did you do well, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't really do anything different. I think the last, you know, 10, 12 races that I've done, I've just kind of just try to be pretty calm and just do the race the best I can and, and not let my guard down. Like Daytona, I let my guard down there off of two and, you know, that led to all the things there. But otherwise, I think I've just been keeping the same energy and um, it just worked out tonight. So now you'll see what happens when I, I get in good stuff. So thank, I'm thankful for that. Go here. Mitchell Brewer, Black Hat Sports. Raja, bouncing off that, you had a lot of criticism after Daytona for the ending of that race. Tonight, it seemed like a very well-executed race on your part, racing very clean, passing guys like Kyle Busch. What's it mean to just be able to like have such a performance like that after Daytona and everything that happened there? Man, I think personally it's great in, in my own mind, right, because like, like after Daytona, I, I got a lot of flack, man, and I really feel like I didn't deserve it because it wasn't something I did on purpose. And similar things happened in the Xfinity race and the Cup race, and uh, a lot of that stuff I just I didn't really appreciate because it it was again not something I did on purpose. And you know it's it's racing, right? Um, but I think tonight, you know, earning the race, the win tonight, uh, racing clean, like you said, I, I learned a lot, and uh, hopefully it's just some validation, right? I think. For myself, it helps just because obviously you have your own doubts and, um, you know, self-talk is a really important thing. And so it's, it's great to kind of get over that hump a little bit. So I just got to keep going and, uh, you know, lean on, on my circle. Do we have anything in the press box? 
Oh. Great. So that's a no. Any more down here? All right. Well, Raja, congratulations on this win. Uh, good luck uh, in the rest of the rest of the season, and uh, here's to many more. Does anyone have a beer? I'm open to beer sponsorships, even though I don't drink.